In this episode, I am going to show you an example that performing matrix addition using two-dimensional array. So first we have to read the two matrices. So for reading the matrices, we have to know the order of the matrix. Order means the number of rows and number of columns of each matrices. So we have to declare some variables which are representing the number of rows and number of columns of the matrices. So here I am going to declare some variables R1, C1 and R2, C2 all are integers. So R1 is used to representing the first matrix number of rows, C1 for rep C1 representing the first matrix number of columns, R2 representing the second matrix number of rows and C2 representing the second matrix number of columns. Okay, now we have to ask the user to enter the first matrix number of rows and number of columns. So use the printf function enter number of rows of first matrix so now the user enter some numbers so we have to save that numbers into variable r1 so using scanner function percentage d comma ampersand r1 okay now we have to ask the user to enter the second matrix enter the number of columns of the first two matrix so i copy this print of statement okay enter number of columns columns of first two matrix so user enter a value and here we are going to save it into variable c1 okay now we have to ask the order of the second matrix so enter number of rows of second matrix and user enter some value here we are going to save that values into variable r2 and enter number of columns of second matrix and save that values into variable c2 okay now we read the order of the two matrices so before going to add two matrices we have to check the number of rows of first matrix is equal to number of rows of second matrix and the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to number of columns of second matrix that means we have to ensure that the two matrices are of same order for that we have to use an if loop so here I use an if loop if R1 equal to R2 that means the number of rows of the first matrix is equal to number of rows of second matrix and the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to number of columns of second matrix okay if these two conditions are true we have to read the matrix and perform the addition otherwise we have to show some message print of addition is not possible okay so if user enter the enter two matrices of same order then we have to read the matrix so first we have to read the first matrix so for reading the two matrices we need two two dimensional array also we have to save the result so we need three two dimensional arrays so first here I'm going to declare the first two dimensional array so int m1 of order here if the, this condition is true r1 is equal to r2 so you can r1 or r2 so I put r1 and the column is c1 or c2 you can use anything because r1 r2 c1 c2 all are same and this is the first matrix declaration and we have to declare the second matrix 
I name it as arc2. You can use R1 or arc2 and C2. Okay. Now the resultant matrix, the result matrix is or R is of the same order. So I declare another variable, another two dimensional array with the same order R2. Uh, you can see you C1 or C2, I use C2. Okay. So now we declare two three two dimensional arrays m1 m2 and r m1 m1 for reading the first matrix m2 for reading the second matrix and r is the uh, two dimensional array used to save the result okay so now we have to read the first matrix so ask the user to enter the first matrix print off enter first matrix so now user enter the first matrix okay so for reading the matrix we have to start some nested loops for that we have to declare some more variables i and j okay so here i'm going to initialize the first loop i equal to zero and i less than the first outer loop representing the row operation and inner loop representing the column operation so i less than r1 and i plus plus now here is the loop body and now we have to read each row using the inner loop for j equal to 0 and the value of j less than c1 and c++ ok now we have to read the matrix using scanner function so scanner percentage d and now use the address operator and read into first matrix m1 m1 i j okay this will read the first matrix and now we have to read the second matrix so i copy the entire statements and now we have to read the second matrix enter second matrix There is no need to change this into R2 because R1 and R2 are same but here I change it into R2 and C2 and instead of M1 here we have to read the second matrix into second variable M2 ok so now we read the first matrix and second matrix now we have to perform the matrix addition so for performing matrix addition we need the same nested loop so I copy the nested loop so here we have to save the result into matrix R so R of IJ equal to M1 of IJ plus second matrix M2 of IJ okay we add each element from the two matrices and save that the result into the third matrix the resultant matrix R okay so finally we have to display the result so print off resultant matrix so for displaying the matrix we need the same nested loop so I copy the nested loop and here you have to display the matrix using printf function printf percentage d and display each element from the matrix r so r of ij 
okay we need a space between every element so put a slash t so after printing the first row after printing each row we need a new line so here I print a new line okay thus we complete the coding okay I will explain it once more first I read the order of the two metrics the first matrix row is read into variable r1 and the column the number of columns in c1 and the second matrix order is r2 and c2 and for, first here I check the condition r1 is r2 and c1 is c2 because uh, we have to ensure that the two matrices are of same order for performing the addition if it is not true it will just print out this message addition is not possible and if the condition is satisfies that means the two matrices are of same order we have to read the first matrix so before going to read I declare three arrays the first the first two arrays is for reading the two matrices and final one is for saving the result now here read the first matrix so for reading the first for reading the matrices we have to use a nested for loop so here I read the first matrix M1 using a nested for loop now read the second matrix is m2 using nested for loop and finally i save the result into i add each element of matrix m1 and m2 and save the result into the resultant matrix r using a nested for loop and finally we print the result again using some nested for loop okay now we can compile the program so I compile the program yeah, there are some mistake there are some undeclared variable it is not C it is J okay compile the program again yeah here also the same mistake J you have to check it again yeah here also it is not J it is also J okay we correct the mistake and now execute compile it again now the compilation is success now I'm going to run the program okay and the number of rows of first matrix here I'm going to put three and the number of columns of first matrix I put one and the number of rows of second matrix six and the number of columns of second matrix 2 addition is not possible because here the order is not the same so I'm going to run the application again so now I'm going to add a 3 by 3 matrix so and the number of rows of first matrix is 3 and the number of row columns of first matrix again 3 now and the number of rows of second matrix 3 number of columns of second matrix 3 now you have to enter the first matrix so the first matrix is 4 5 6 3 7 2 so this is one more row 3 7 2 so this is a 3 by 3 matrix the matrix that contain 3 rows and 3 columns okay now we have to enter the second matrix 2 5 one two five six now two second element eight now the third element eight now four two five okay this is also a three by three matrix so now we enter two matrices of order three by three okay now here we got the output resultant matrix six plus 2, 4 plus 2, 6, 5 plus 5, 10, 6 plus 6, 12. We got the result. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part.